Some masters of camouflage live at the poles, the coldest regions on Earth. We will shortly be seeing the extraordinary camouflage of a bird that survives in such a climate. It is autumn in a snow-covered rocky area. There are two polar birds hidden here. Can you see them? There they are. It is almost impossible to distinguish them in their natural habitat because their feathers have a superb camouflage that imitates their natural surroundings. Let us look a little more carefully. The bird's white feathers are an exact copy of the snow. The patches of ground remaining among the snow have been faithfully reproduced on its feathers. Ground and bird are exact copies of each other. It is almost impossible to distinguish them. It is winter and the snow covers everything. A miraculous change occurs on the bird's body. All its dark feathers disappear, leaving only the white. It is again almost impossible to distinguish the pure white bird amidst the snow. The bird is totally unaware of it. Yet again, its body is perfectly camouflaged. The dark hairs around its eyes stop it being blinded by light reflected from the snow. It is spring. The snow has begun to melt. Plants are pushing up through it. And between the feathers of the birds, new feathers emerge. The green color of the plants. It is summer. The snow has completely melted and the layer of vegetation is green. The polar bird again displays extraordinary camouflage. If you look carefully, you will see that a pre-planned change has again taken place. Its body is covered in feathers that resemble the vegetation. It is again all but impossible to see it. This wonderful display of camouflage requires an explanation, of course. It is naturally impossible for the bird from its own will to have determined the colors of its feathers in accordance with prevailing conditions. It does not have the intelligence even to know what camouflage means. So who is it, in that case, that gives the bird its extraordinary capacity for camouflage? Who knows that the camouflage will need to change as the seasons pass? Who placed the colors and designs of its surrounding on its feathers, just like an artist? These questions lead us to one answer. Allah created the bird and gave it the features it possesses. <laughs>